Hello and welcome to Hooray. Today we are going to learn about the writing component in the IELTS exam. Writing has two tasks. One is task 1 which is the letter writing and task 2 is essay writing. In the letter writing you have three kinds of letters, formal, semi-formal and informal. Let's take a look in depth at the formal letter. The approach to this task is that you have 20 minutes to complete your letter. You have to write in at least 150 words, but 160 to 180 words is recommended. You have to analyze the task properly. There will be three main points given and you have to elaborate on those bullet points. Four criteria for task one in writing are task achievement, coherence and cohesion, grammatical range and accuracy, and lexical resource. The structure of the essay is, you should have an introduction, body, and conclusion. In the introduction, you need to paraphrase the rubric and state the purpose of your letter. In the second paragraph, which is the body, you can elaborate on the three main points which are asked. And in the conclusion, you can give a closing statement. Here's a sample for the formal letter. Your car insurance company has told you that they're going to increase the amount you have to pay as insurance for your car each month. You are not happy with this. You have to write a letter to your insurance company and in your letter, explain the three bullet points below. 1. Why you are writing to them. 2. Why you think the insurance should not be increased. And 3. What you want them to do. You have to write in at least 150 words. In the opening address, you need to write Dear Sir or Madam and put a comma after this opening address or salutation. In paragraph 1, you need to state your purpose clearly as to why you're writing the letter, address the reason. You can use phrases like, as you will be aware, and then write about your insurance. I would therefore like you to, and ask them what you would like them to do. In the body of the letter, you can have two paragraphs. You need to refer to the bullet points, add the relevant details, Use phrases like, I understand that and complete the sentence. You could also say, I'm afraid and complete the sentence. I look forward to hearing from you and complete the sentence. You should use models correctly like can't, would, might, will, etc. In the conclusion, you have to end on a very polite tone in spite of this being a complaint letter. Usually, you can use the last paragraph to call to action express thanks or ask for a response. After this, you need to leave a line space again and give the closing address. For formal letters, you need to end by writing yours faithfully, capital letter Y and small letter F and put a comma after faithfully. Leave a line space and write your full name at the end. The three aspects that you need to take care of while writing your letter. One is coherence, your grammar and vocabulary. Under coherence, look for transitional words and use them. Organize your ideas. Use keywords from the question. Analyze the topic correctly. Maintain the academic style and follow the format and structure. In grammar, you need to use correct tenses. Use all the parts of speech appropriately and your subject and verb agreement has to be correct. Do not use contraction forms. Use a lot of cohesive devices. In vocabulary, you need to use apt and formal vocabulary only. Do not use informal language. Use linking phrases, idioms and expressions. Identify the keywords and use correct spelling.
Here are some general tips for you to practice. Read every day. Learn root words. Use a thesaurus. Develop practical vocabulary. Learn new words every day. Keep a journal. Diversify your reading list. Do word puzzles. Use new words in sentences, in emails and in conversations. Use word associations. Make your own vocabulary tests. Make synonym word lists. Edit your own writing to remove nondescript words. Practice spelling. Read the sentences aloud. Use comprehensive to expressive vocabulary. Ask for feedback. Play games and try word board games. With this, we come to the end of the tips for formal writing. Wish you all the best and write well. Thank you.